Hi, I'm Michael Nadlin from Market Lead, and today's video is the second video in the series of B2B Google Ads strategies. And this one is on keywords. So keywords are the most important and vital part of a B2B or any lead generation campaign on Google Ads. And that's why I'm starting here. If you do this right, you'll be 90% successful just from the start. So I go over this from the start because I know if you do this right, everything will be easy, everything will be extremely simple. You'll save time and money, but ultimately you'll just get the best results, even with the worst ads and the worst landing page as well. So let's start from here. Keywords and search terms will be the number one success factor. Relevant keywords and relevant search term equal relevant leads. If you have the best ads and the best landing page and you just get the wrong traffic through, even if it converts, it will be wrong. Keywords really capture the user's intent. And by knowing that from the start and targeting very specific keywords, you can capture that intent, funnel it to a landing page, get them to submit a lead or call you, and then ultimately turn them into a client. Most businesses fail here. Every single time I ordered a B2B account, the biggest gap is in the keywords and search terms. It's not the ads, it's not the settings, it's just the keywords and search terms. If they just clean this up, usually they save over $10,000 a month, plus they get the additional spend allocated towards keywords that actually get results. So really take the keywords seriously. And that's why I'm actually going to share in two slides time, the exact keyword strategy that I use because I think it's super important to share this. Now, the next one is the process. So you, this is the process on how to discover keywords for your B2B business. First, you wanna note down the business service or product. Now, this sounds obvious, but you just wanna note down what it is you actually specifically do. Write it down and do it in a way that people actually tend to search for it as well. You might have this crazy software, but what is the actual service or product that it actually does for the end consumer? Get really clear on that. And then secondly, just start Googling these terms. Just start Googling them, start to see what other ads come up. Are they your competitors or are they B2C products and services? That way you can start to get a grasp of if I go after this keyword, am I gonna get B2B ads running with me, which means B2B people are looking or is it B2C as well? And then third, as I just mentioned, review the results and ads. So just have a look there as well. See if these terms that you've noted down, if they are with B2C or B2B competitors. And then ultimately, this is the next part that is so important is note down the recommendation from the Google predictive search and the recommendations at the bottom of the page. This will give you a scope and understanding of where people do naturally start to look for these terms. And you can use this to add in negative keywords, which is extremely vital and extremely important. If you just use this to get the negative keywords, this will save you tens of thousands of dollars over the next month, six months or year, guaranteed. So I just wanted to note that as well. So coming to the next stage of actually, once you've actually done this process, how do you actually do the keywords? So keyword theme ideas. This is what I do with every single B2B client and market lead. This is what works all the time because it really captures the intent of the user and certain keyword themes and ideas that always go with along with someone actually looking to buy. So firstly, product or service plus location. So if someone's looking for office cleaning Melbourne, I know they're actually looking for an office cleaner in Melbourne. So location is a really high intent way to identify someone who's proactively looking to purchase a service. The next one is product and service plus service provider terms. For example, office cleaning companies, office cleaning services. So if people are just looking for office cleaning, that may be too broad, but if they're looking for companies and services, they've already written that they want an intent for a third party to provider to come into play. And then ultimately the last one is product or service plus service provider term plus location. So this could be office cleaning companies in Melbourne. And you know if you get these longer tail keywords, but usually these keywords are very, very short as well. Um, you know that ultimately this person is looking for one, what you're offering, two as a service provider and three in your location. Every single client we work with, we go after these terms. And the benefit of this is these keywords do become expensive. They may be 10 or $20 a click, but ultimately when you do get these clicks, you know if you get 10 of them, the probability of actually getting a lead or a sale or a call out of it is very high. The reason being is we can tell from the search term that it's extremely relevant. Someone looking for office cleaning Melbourne is not looking for a home cleaner. They're looking for an office cleaner plus location, which means 
they're in proximity to you. You just don't want anyone across the state or the country as well. And then ultimately looking for a third party provider as well. Even if you're not doing B2B, if you're doing B2C, the third party provider component really pulls people from research mode, awareness mode into action taking mode because they're really looking for someone to implement it for them. This is only a sneak peek of our strategies. I can't give away all the strategies on these videos because one, don't have enough time and two, this is the business. So if you are having trouble with your B2B ads, let us help you. We have mastered B2B lead generation to save you time and money and ultimately just make you more money. Our B2B clients make an average of 10 to 350X their return on ad spend over a three to six month period. The reason being is because we can actually track it with our own dashboards and our own reporting as well. So I'll leave it there, but remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. And if you're ready to become a market leader and you're serious about increasing your sales, increasing your customers and scaling your business with Google Ads, have a chat with someone at my team about your Google Ads account at marketlead.com.au.